So block oscillating on a spring without friction. Again, this a, a spring and a pendulum are identical when things. When it's all the way out at the ends, it's all potential. When it's in the middle, it's all kinetic. We have no friction. That's the first key. When I read no friction, what am I going to deal with? What? E equals E, right? E equals E. Energy initial equals energy final. Okay. So a block oscillates without friction on the ends of a spring. The minimum and maximum lengths of the spring as it oscillates are respectively x min, you know, and x max, stretches, compresses. The graph below represents quantities associated with the oscillation. Which graph can represent the total mechanical energy of the block spring system? Ready to vote? You want to vote? Okay, all in favor of A. All in favor of B. A couple of you, four of you. All in favor of C. So this was zero. Four of you. All in favor of C. One hand. All in favor of D. About 10 of you. All in favor of E. About 15 of you. Correct answer is E. What does this statement right here mean? Energy initial equals energy final. What does that mean? Who were, I heard it over here. Constant. What is constant? The total energy is constant, right? It may change forms, but what I have is constant. Which graph shows me constant? Energy versus X. Total energy versus X. This one here says it's really high, then goes to zero. This one does the same thing. This one goes zero, high, zero. The total energy never changes. What does change? The amount of potential and the amount of kinetic with respect to one another, but the total is always a constant number. So this one is a constant graph. Okay. Same basic situation, but this time, which graph represents the kinetic energy of the, gra of the block as a function of x? So we know E has to be out, right? Because that was the other answer. How would you think about it? When is it zero and when is it max, right? When is kinetic energy maximum? Think of a pendulum. When is the pendulum at kinetic energy maximum? Right at the bottom, right? In the middle of the swing. It's all potential, kinetic, potential. A spring and a pendulum are identical. Okay, all in favor of A. All in favor of B. All in favor of C. Okay, there's a few of you. All in favor of D. A lot more. All in favor of E. What is the difference between C and D? Parabolic. Why do I need to worry about that? Because velocity is squared. Velocity is squared, so I have to worry about that. So C and D. It's, it's D is the answer. Because velocity is squared, I need a parabolic curve. If velocity, if, if, if kinetic energy is just one half mv, then C would be correct answer because it's a linear decrease in energy and a linear increase. 